Hello online pipe community, Ethan Parsimonious Piper here. It is Cobb Tuesday. Got my Cobb Tuesday Cobb. No Cobb Tuesday hat. Smoking indoors again. Gets knocked off if I wear it and lean back in my chair. Today's Cobb. Missouri Meersham, Washington in a Rob Roy shape. Bent. In it. In it, I have a bowl of Cornell and Deal's Derringer. Now, I have been smoking this off and on this week. This is a straight Virginia. Last Wednesday, I noted some of you may wonder why in the world I'm smoking a straight Virginia and that I may be tempted to ask the same question. And, uh, yeah, the question was justified. <laughs> This is not a bad blend, but it is, to me, just another Virginia. It is um, a little bready, a little grass hay. That kind of medium Virginia flavor. It just doesn't do anything for me. I like a little more oomph. When I think Virginia, and I think the Virginias that I like, it's Gawith Hogarth, black and brown Irish twist. That, that's some Virginia, baby. But, Sean, Ghost Cobb, thank you for the sample. As always, I need to keep trying Virginias. One of these days, my palate may shift, and I may light one of these things up and go, ah, that's really good. Today is just not that day. Well, folks, it is official. I suck at being a pipe show presenter. I took exactly two photos this uh, weekend at the Columbus show and zero video. I was having so much of a blast uh, enjoying the company of other pipe smokers that I just didn't get around to it. Ch check out uh, Beans316. He got some good photos and footage I did not. But I'm going to give you a quick recap anyway. Let's see here. Friday night. Friday night, I did all of my shopping for the weekend. Mostly because uh, when I go to pipe shows, I very, very, very rarely ever find a Pipe by Lee, Briar Lee, or Gold Coast. And since those are the only pipes that I'm really super tempted to buy, I don't do a lot of shopping. I did rummage through all of the estate uh, bins. Didn't find a single one. Went over to Mark Ryan's table. Mr. Ryan, as many of you know, is the man who virtually single-handedly saved the perique industry. After selling off his uh, tobacco company, Daughters and Ryan, a lot of those blends were discontinued by the new owners. Well, he had bags and uh, some tins, etc., of those blends. And I picked up, where did I put it? Right here. Three tens. Now, this is one that I haven't reviewed, reviewed for you guys. I, I, I will have to do this. This um, this Don Giovanni Cigarro is a cigar blend, as the name sounds. I got three tens of this. Uh, absolutely fantastic stuff. Um, I, it's one of the cigar blends that I truly enjoy. And remember last week I said I was going to take my tin of Rimboche AB and it would be the last of the last. Well, not so fast. I picked up a pound of Rimboche AB from Mark himself. Now, from what I hear, this really was the last of his stash. So, if you didn't get it this weekend, you, you won't get it. He is, uh, he's done. Now, 
then I went back around and looked at the tables just one more time, just to, to glance and see. Surprise, surprise, at the Ewan Reese table, I found a pipe by Lee in a shape that I do not have. I will share that with you as a parsimonious pipe tomorrow. Now, after all of this, went outside and sat down under a, a nice big tent. Got to share bowl after bowl with uh, some truly great guys. Uh, some non-presenters like Greg Folk uh, were there, uh, but then guys that you're very well familiar with, Cane Rod Piper, uh, David from St. David's Pipes, uh, Brad the Bearded Piper, and so on. A bunch of guys uh, were there on Friday night, and we sat around and swapped lies and, uh, and tobaccos and just had a, a wonderful time. Nathan from Let My Cameron Go was able to show up for a couple of hours and uh, sure miss seeing him uh, online, but it was great to see him in person. Uh, Greg Tunnel handed out uh, to a few of us a rather nice gift, a nice little Honest brand lighter. And yes, I'm already using it. And I'm not sure what this is. It flares right at the end when you let go. Do I have to, I don't know, let go faster? I'll have to play with it a little bit. But it does work really well. Very nice gift. Thank you, Greg. Saturday, then, since I had done all of my purchasing... I did make another round through there, but I did not find anything that I was going to grab. So I spent the whole day smoking pipes and chewing a fat. And it was wonderful. It, it really was. Um, I, there were some more guys that showed up uh, that I, I ran into on Saturday. Guys like Beans. Corvette Jim showed up briefly. Um, he had some severe knee pain, and so he wound up Heading out a little early. But uh, Eric, the blue collar pipe smoker, was there. Continued his bad habit of gifting me lovely Larry Blackett tampers. This one, a 45 long Colt. And yes, I'm using it already. I love Blackett's tampers. I love to use Blackett's tampers for what they were designed for. Thank you so much, Eric. That was a great gift. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, there were just, there were so many people, a, a lot of non-presenters um, uh, introduced themselves. Uh, however, none of them asked for that poker. We'll get back to that in a minute. Saturday evening, um, Paul and Chris, Pipes of Old, um, and Grunewald Pipes, uh, joined uh, me and Greg Tunnel and my wife and uh, non-presenter uh, Todd and his wife, Frances, for dinner, one, a wonderful dinner at uh, Schmidt's a German restaurant there and uh, just south of uh, the downtown area in Columbus. You've heard a lot of the presenters talk about going there. Um, uh, it, it really is a great, great restaurant. Uh, let's see. The next morning, uh, Brad the Bearded Piper, Greg Tunnel, and my wife and I had breakfast together, and that was just great. We sat around and talked for oh, probably an hour. And my wife always comes away from these things saying, your pipe friends are really nice guys. Well, of course they are. I wouldn't hang around with anything less. Now, I am absolutely positive that I have forgotten some of the people that that, uh, that I ran into on uh, during those days. Um, our, our last day there, I did get to uh, chat with uh, another guy who is not a YTPC presenter, uh, but he is fairly well known in the community, at least in the Midwest, and that is Eric Karlowski. He is a 
an incredible uh, boutique hobbyist blender. Last year, I got a good sample of his um, Atomic Breakfast. This year, this year I got um, well over an ounce of a Perique that he made. Uh, this stuff has that musty, earthy smell that you expect out of Perique. And a solid plug of, uh, of a vapor that he made. And I am looking forward to both of those. That vapor just has a deep, fruity, uh, wonderful aroma. And when I told him that this next year, what I'm probably going to be trying to formulate is a dark fired uh, based cherry blend something that my wife and I will both enjoy he gifted me some Ken Byron Ventures dark fired cherry this stuff's hard to come by I I've, I sit there and I check um, KBD site periodically and seems to never be in stock so thank you thank you Eric Now we come down to that panel poker. Nobody asked for it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna give it away. Of course I am. But I'm also going to give away uh, about a half a dozen samples, uh, probably two or three bowls full each of some of the blends that I have been reviewing over the last month or so, couple months. And one ounce each of my two blends. Secondhand Bookshop is my Ken Dark Fired Kentucky based uh, Perique blend, which is sort of my, my tribute to Haunted Bookshop. No, it does not contain Haunted Bookshop. Both of these blends are blended from components. The second one is Haunted Hatchards, which is my play on words. Hatchards is the oldest bookstore in London, so you have another Haunted Bookshop. This one, however, is a Kentucky-based uh, English. Um, I, the Latakia does not overwhelm the Kentucky, although it does compete at times. So I'll be tossing that in, in addition to the pipe and the samples. What do you have to do to get that? You have to be the first person to comment, dang it, I missed the show and then send me an email at erudderncgmail in order to get me your shipping information and we'll get that stuff out to you. Well, folks, I gotta run. Gotta get back to work. Uh, Derringer, it's a three. Um, I wouldn't buy it again, but that's just because right now I just don't like medium type Virginias. I like the dark stuff. Give me that black and brown Irish twist and the oomph that comes with whatever it is that Gawith Hogarth does to make those things so delicious. As it is, those of you who like bread, honey, grass, hay, Virginias are actually probably going to like this quite a bit because that's exactly what it is. It's, uh, it's medium strength. Um, I've pushed it and have not gotten it to bite. It gets a little hot, but I have not gotten it to really bite. Um, maybe I stopped pushing when it was wise, uh, but it is, it's a, it's a good blend. I think some of you guys out there are really going to like this. Maybe next year when I go to the Columbus show, I won't suck so bad as a presenter and I'll actually take some video and pictures that I can share with you guys until then. Like something you like. Enjoy your afternoon.